Hi everyone, Dr. Campbell here with another real world coding scenario. Today we have a patient that has a preoperative and postoperative diagnosis of hemoptysis. Hemoptysis is when you cough up blood. It could be um, a sign or a symptom of a more serious condition such as infections or cancer. And so today, when you read this report, what you want to think about is, what is, my, what is the doctor doing about the hemoptysis? What do they need to know? And when you think about it, they need to know why the patient is coughing up blood. So in the report, it's noted that the patient was intubated prior to the procedure, informed consent was obtained by their spouse, and a bronchoscope was passed through the endotracheal tube, which makes sense because the patient was intubated prior to the procedure. Lidocaine was utilized for lubrication of the endotracheal tube. Video monitoring was utilized through endoscopic technique. And with the bronchoscope in the endotracheal tube, the left upper lingula and lower lobe regions for the segmental branches were visualized. They were cleaned with saline. There were no endotracheal lesions on the left side. The right upper bronchus to the segmental branches were visualized. No endobronchial uh, lesions there either, or no bleeding from any particular segment. Then they went to the right mid lobe branches up to the medial and lateral branches, up to the branches, uh, segmental branches, and again, no bleeding was noted, no endobronchial lesions either. Now let's pause. Remember we said this patient is coughing up blood, right? So they don't know why, but they're ruling out. There's no lesions, all right? So then the right upper low bronchus up to the sub segmental branches were visualized, including the superior segmental bronchus, the anterior segment of the left lower lobe was showing evidence of active bleeding after washing with all the saline. After cold saline irrigation, the bleeding was able to be controlled. Local epinephrine was also administered to cause local vasoconstriction. They collected some specimens um, for, to the lab to rule out malignancy as well as rule out any infectious etiology. Now, remember I said at the beginning, hemoptysis, coughing up blood. It could be a sign of a serious condition, infections, cancers. And so they're trying to figure out what's going on. So the procedure was uneventful. Um, bleeding seemed to be controlled with the, the cold saline irrigation, and the patient tolerated the procedure well. And the pathology came back with no evidence of malignancy. So our role as the coder is to identify what happened and why. So the first procedure that we're going to code is the or well, actually the only procedure that we're going to code is the bronchoscopy. And by now, you should know that we take out our CPT manual and we start in the index. The coding process always begins in the index. So I'm going to go to the main term of bronchoscopy. And let's get this a little clearer for you guys here. All right, so under bronchoscopy, you have to ask yourself, what did the doctor do? So we have ablation, alveolar lavage, aspiration, balloon occlusion. Now, knowing what your doctor did in that report, understanding the words are critical to selecting the correct code. All right, so all he did was just look around the lungs and all that you know area so i would go with exploration the index gives us 31622 31634 
31647 and 31651 to look up. And so again, don't forget, I know when I start to turn the page, I forget. So don't forget about your little flap that you can put in. And then uh, what we're going to do, of course, is go over and look up those codes that were in that particular range to see which code is going to best support our documentation. So the first code that we were given was 31622, which is a bronchoscopy, rigid or flexible, including fluoroscopic guidance when performed, diagnostic with cell washing when performed. Uh, we have that, right? But don't stop at the first code check out the rest and so I forgot those other numbers so let me go back so 31634 and 31634 is an indented code so what we want to do is is make sure that we know what that standalone is and it's a part of 31622 so 31634 says with balloon occlusion with assessment of air leak and administration of occlusive substance. No, it, they didn't have that. Uh, 31647 with occlusion, balloon occlusion again when performed assessment. So no, our patient did not have that either. And then the fourth code they gave us was... 31651, and that talks about balloon occlusion as well. So our correct code for this patient, and let's go back over, because it actually was very clear in the description and it matches what we had. So that was the bronchoscopy, rigid or flexible. So 31622, and notice it does include the cell washing that was performed, so no additional um, CPT code is needed. So then the next thing that we have to do is to determine uh, what our diagnosis code is. So I'm going to pull out my ICD-10 CM code manual and our diagnosis, remember, was hemoptysis. So same thing, I'm going to go to my alphabetical index and under my alphabetical index, I'm going to look for hemoptysis. All right, so let's see here. All right, hemoptysis, R04.2. And then, of course, I have to verify that code. All right, hemoptysis, R04.2, and my final codes are, I'll type them in here at the top, R04.2, and then I'll just type this over here to the side. So what happened today? 31622, bronchoscopy, Y, hemoptysis. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Until next time.